Welcome to Aircraft Engineers and today we are working on a Boeing 787. Today our main task is to replace an electrical brake actuator motor on a Boeing 787 brake. Let's go. So as per our aircraft maintenance manual, our job setup is complete, landing gear pins installed, set them, uh, systems isolated so we can start our job. So each 787 brake unit has four electrical brake actuator motors. So before you replace or do maintenance on one, you need to confirm whether you're working on the correct one and you can find that information on the aircraft maintenance manual. So after we identify it, we can start removing the connector. So these four electrical brake actuator motors mounted on each 787 brakes are the source of the 787 braking power. So each time the pilot applies a brake on a 787, uh, it's these motors that actually do the work. These motors through a drivetrain uh, control the movement of the brake pistons. And also, due to the high voltage as applied to these electrical brake actuator motors, it's very important to follow all the safety precautions before uh, undertaking any maintenance on these uh, brake actuator motors. So now our connector is out. The next step is to remove the, the mounting bolt. The electrical brake actuator motor is located in a high vibration area. So it's good maintenance practice to make sure that you inspect each bolt's threads for condition before you re reinstall them back. And also it's also good maintenance practice to mark each bolt during the removal process so that you don't mix them up during installation. So the last bolt is almost out, so the next step is to carefully remove the electrical brake actuator. So take note, this is mounted on a gear train, so it's always good to make sure you don't uh, use excessive force to remove it. So you gently pull it out so that you don't damage uh, the gear train. Yeah, so this is our electrical brake actuator motor, and uh, yes, and this is the mounting uh, pad and you can see the um, the gears oh, well you can't see much of the gears there but that is where the eva uh, eva motor is mounted so let's prepare the new one for installation so we inspect the new one uh check the paperwork and then the next step is to lubricate a new packing and install it on the uh, on the motor and then yeah then the next thing let's install it
so in this part of the video what we're basically doing is we are running up the threads uh not applying the final torque but basically we just want to evenly apply the force as we are tightening the bo the bolt so we just run them up and then uh, prepare them for the final torque since the component is mounted in a high vibration area after installation and after torquing we need to apply a torque seal which will give us a visual indication if the bolt becomes loose due to vibration So once the bolts are ready, the next step is to tighten uh, all the three mounting bolts to the aircraft maintenance manual specified torque. I'll just keep that part of the video not to, uh, to avoid making this uh, entire video too long. So after the connector and plug inspection, uh, we'll connect the connector to the motor. So the next step is to properly tighten our electrical connector with the connector plier and at this point our installation is complete and we prepare for the test. So today through the Boeing 787's uh, CMCF function we'll be performing a brake actuation system test. So now let's just uh, go through the setup and um, we'll read the requirements and make sure that we configure the aircraft for the test. So the aircraft will give you a brief description of the test that you're conducting and basically what it's, it's going to test uh, the effects on the airplane, uh, the limitations, the time it will take for you to conduct the test and uh, also uh, the configuration the aircraft is supposed to be in for you to conduct the test. So for our part we need to make sure that the packing pack is set and we need to make sure that the ground test switch is set from norm to enable. Let's do this. Okay, parking brake is set. Ground test switch set to enable. Next step is to press continue. When the ground test switch is set to enable, you get this maintenance enable memo on the status page. Now let's start the test. While the chest is operating, let's go outside and see what's happening. Our test is complete and great news, we got a pass. But also on a Boeing 787, there is a way in which you can check the performance of a brake in relation to our electrical brake actuator motor performance. The electrical brake actuator controller computes and displays the amount of force produced by each electrical brake actuator on the brake. And this is displayed on the landing gear brakes maintenance uh, monitoring page. The EBA force is displayed in percentages and in this page you can see in real time the performance of each electrical brake actuator operating on the aircraft so far everything looks good so we we'll restore the aircraft back to its normal configuration thank you for watching like and subscribe for more